All right. As you notice, the slot lines up in this pump with the bumper like this into that. That's an air hole. Occasionally, by introducing a prox, it uses up some of this room in here for this to breathe. So what I like to do is just trace on here a little bit to give you an idea. I'm going to port this pump open so that it's able to move air through here a little better. Basically, it around the prox into the area and out this. I can't drill too close to the edge or it'll, it'll weaken this bumper up where it, it attaches here, it's very thin, so I can't get in too close to that area. But I use a, a Dremel here, and I just port this open. Probably use a vise to do this. I'll do that here in a second. I've done a lot of them by hand, so I'm used to doing this, but you can also use a vise to kind of keep it in place and not have your fingers in here. It, it kind of needs to be fast RPM to cut this material. Okay, now as you can see, I ported that back out, so I opened it up a little bit. The bumper is still going to stop the travel of the of the spool in the pump it's going to hit this and stop there's it doesn't matter that the opening is larger it's got enough material to to to, to uh, surround it and stop it and it doesn't weigh the bumper really doesn't wear in a pump it just acts as a bumper as a stop and it acts as a center of the sleeve when you install a new sleeve so if i put this bumper in here again putting the notch toward the hole you can see that this is how it's going to be installed after I get the pro the, this in. It's going to have a lot more breathing room. At times, that hole is lining up closely to the, this prox and not allowing enough airflow. So by just giving this room to breathe, sometimes gets rid of pumps that have all the chatter. So again, line that up. The prox is is installed checking it below the surface so it's the the the, the uh, spool won't hit it line this up and tighten this back down with this this way and that's it